Mathematics Level 4, Topic 4, Module 1. Welcome to Topic 4 of the Mathematics Level 4 Support Package, Data Handling and Probability Models. Topic 4, Data Handling and Probability Models. Module 1, Data Handling. Module 1, Session 1. Session 1 will cover Introduction to Topic 4 Subject Outcome 4.1 Data Handling Introduction Learning Outcome 4.1.1 Identify Situations that can be dealt with through statistical methods Introduction to Topic 4 Data Handling and Probability In this module we are starting on Topic 4, Data Handling, also known as Statistics and Probability Models. Data Handling builds on work from Level 2 and Level 3. Probability is a new area for students. Looking at page 5 of our subject guidelines, we can see that Topic 4 makes up 15% of the curriculum and 18 hours of teaching time. This should take roughly three and a half weeks. Statistics and probability comprise 30% of the total marks for paper two. Let's take a look at the subject outcomes for topic four on page 11 of your subject guidelines. Subject outcome 4.1. Represent, analyze and interpret data using various techniques. Subject outcome 4.2. Use variance and regression analysis to interpolate and extrapolate bivariate data. Subject Outcome 4.3 Use experiments, simulation and probability distribution to set and explore probability models. The first subject outcome is mostly revision. Regression analysis and bivariate data are new and probability models is also a new section. Students have been learning data handling since Level 2. Let's take a look at how this part of the curriculum has progressed through the levels. In Level 2, students learn to calculate central tendencies and spread of univariate and ungrouped data. They also learned to represent data effectively using various charts and graphs. In Level 3, students learn to further describe and interpret ungrouped data. They learn to calculate and represent central tendency and dispersion in grouped data. And some students learned how to calculate standard deviation and variance. In Level 4, standard deviation and variance are revisited and students are introduced to the representation of bivariate data and least squares regression. Please work in small groups to do this activity. What pre-knowledge is essential for students beginning Topic 4 at Level 4? In your experience, what are students' main problem areas in Topic 4? What approach to Topic 4 have you found to be most useful? Please make notes in your workbooks during the group discussion. Let's take a look at a video introducing data handling. Hi, I'm Ivan Mapaling. Let's do data handling. Subject Outcome 4.1 Data Handling Introduction Let's begin with the first subject outcome of Topic 4. This covers general statistical methods for recording, organizing and interpreting data. This subject outcome is largely for class discussion and students are not required to draw the graphs that they needed to for levels 2 and 3. This is not a large focus in exams. Let's take a look at subject outcome 4.1 and its learning outcomes in more detail. You will find them on page 11 of your subject guidelines. Subject outcome 4.1 represent analyze and interpret data using various techniques. By the end of the subject outcome, students should be able to identify situations or issues that can be dealt with through statistical methods. 
Discuss the use of appropriate and efficient methods to record, organize and interpret given data. Justify and apply statistics to answer questions about problems. Discuss new questions that arise from the modeling of data. Take a position on an issue by comparing different representations of given data. Teaching tip. Lecturers we spoke to said that this subject outcome is often left out because of time pressure, especially late in the year. Don't ignore the subject outcome completely in your teaching, as students do need to be able to interpret the results of data handling processes, and they must understand the terminology and the different ways that data is presented. Use the subject outcome to get students excited about data handling. Use real-world examples and activities to inspire them to discuss and engage with the applications for statistics. As there is often a time pressure to complete the curriculum in time, you could try to incorporate the subject outcome through teaching the next subject outcome. For example, when working with data handling context in subject outcome 4.2, also discuss issues around collecting data, sample size, avoiding bias. Show students that data can be represented in different kinds of graphs. Ensure that they're exposed to the basic measures of central tendencies, mean, median, and mode, and dispersion in these examples too. Learning outcome 4.1.1. Identify situations that can be dealt with through statistical methods. Students need to understand what kind of situations can be dealt with through statistical analysis. They should be exposed to statistics in health, social, economic, cultural, political, and environmental situations. These are areas of great importance to everyone, and people need to have access to information about them. These could inspire some great activities and discussions for students.